guys welcome 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 to today's video i hope you guys are all doing well and doing good today's video is going to be an evening study with me my first ever evening study with me i'm either going to make this just today evening or tomorrow and thursday's evening it's probably going to be tomorrow and thursday's evening so that the video isn't like super duper short today i'm just going to be working on my lectures whereas tomorrow i'm probably going to be working on flashcards and whatnot and thursday i'm going to be working on exam questions i actually went to morocco last week i went on holiday i took a break i was very needed break i'm very happy i took it but now that means i do have a bit of work to do and complete and that means i have to be at my most productive as you guys may or may not know if you do watch my channel um frequently if you don't I'm not gonna hold it against you. I actually don't usually do any university work on Wednesday. Wednesday is my free day. I usually work and just run some errands and whatnot, but obviously because I did go on holiday, I'm now obviously using my Wednesdays to catch up. So I am just gonna do that right now and I'm gonna switch to sitting at my desk. So guys, my to-do list for the day has been made. Just for tonight, I'm gonna finish my lecture on the chemistry of beta blockers and statins, and then I'm going to make my statins notes. And I might start or hopefully finish the pharmacology of anti -thambotic. So let's get started on these. So right now, I was just completing the first thing on my to-do list, which was my lecture in my cardiovascular, cardiovascular, oh my gosh, cardiovascular and renal systems module on the chemistry of beta blockers. Beta blockers are medications that are used for treatment of heart failure and other heart-related conditions. If you're new to my channel, I study pharmacy and I really, really enjoy topics like this because if you know me, you know medicinal chemistry owns my heart. And I feel like this is literally what I want to learn. I want to learn how these medications work chemically. I want to know how, how they're, I want to know more about their pharmacology. I'm just getting too excited, but it's really interested and something that I always want to engage with. And I'm using good notes to work through my lectures. When it comes to most of my chemistry revision, I use this guy, the Organic Chemistry TR. You are not a chemistry student in any form if you do not know who this guy is. Like, he is literally my my everything. Him and Khan Academy, they are my saviors, my angels. But yeah, me and my bestie, we're gonna clock these mechanisms together. I'm going to attempt to cut this mango into mango slices because we don't have mango slices. Let's get back to the bedroom. The mango slices are looking a bit questionable, but they all taste the same. Okay, so I've got a bunch of mechanisms that I just want to get through with my statins lecture so if i just show you guys oh actually it's quite a few i'm just going to go over the clasing condensation um mechanism that we were actually taught last year so i'm just going to go over that and put them into my year two notes because i think i've lost my year one notes for it and then so this um this condensation reaction is basically part of the synthesis of cholesterol so the production of mevalinate is where statins acts on so it acts on this enzyme right here so obviously we're just learning about that whole mechanism chemical mechanism as you can see the production of melvinate um is inhibited and then there's just loads more of our mechanisms i just need to go over and making sure that my knowledge for it is solid so that's what i'm going to do for the next hour Thank you. 
done. These are the important mechanisms that I need to make sure I know for the mechanism of statins. Now, whenever I do anything mechanism wise, anything mechanism based, I always make sure that I create a completely blank paper. So here's the blank paper with literally no information on it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to write down this mechanism or all the mechanisms. I'm gonna write them down over and over four times like literally just going to copy and paste so what i'm going to do is click here and open a new window so i have it open a new window and now i'm going to go and find the exact same page so here it is the exact same page and i'm going to go to the blank version there and i'm going to write this over and over four times um in a certain type of way i'm going to show you guys and this really helps me to remember and then tomorrow when a whole day has passed I'm going to write them the mechanism over and over four times without the sheet of paper. Guys, I'm currently taking my study break right now. It is 6.53 and I'm going to start studying again at 7. I've got about three, two hours left of studying and I'm just going to complete a lecture. I'm going to do the pharmacology of antithrombotics lecture. I'm not going to lie, the lecture is looking very dense. It's looking very, very dense, but what can i do i have to do it during my study breaks i usually do some stretches so let's go so did i make another hot chocolate Yes, I did. Mm. Mm. Oh gosh, this tastes great. So my plan was to do the pharmacology lecture on antithrombotics, but I see that there's a lecture before that, which is on the clinical presentation and management of heart failure. We've done multiple clinical presentation and management lectures. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't say that there's a big like importance. I wouldn't say clinical is more important than science or science is more important than clinical in the pharmacy degree but the pharmacy degree is extremely unique where it is a mixture of both where you are learning a lot of clinical stuff but at the same time you're learning a lot of science you guys just saw me cracking on with mechanisms and learning all of these different sections of the human body so it is very special in that it does that so yeah i'm going to do my clinical one first and then i'm going to have a go at my homework and then that's it i'm ready to get ready for bed Welcome to day two, evening number two. I'm currently on my way to my local cafe to meet up with my friend Shakira and we're gonna study there. She is my friend from secondary school and sixth form. We've been friends for years. So yeah, I am very excited to see her and just get a lot of work done and to eat as well. And I flipping love this cafe. So I'm excited all in all. So I ordered a hot chocolate. This hot chocolate is so good. Mm. Oh, this hot chocolate is so good. What's that thing they gave you? Oh, sugar. Ooh. Right now, I'm gonna work on my pre-work for my class tomorrow, my 9 a.m. tomorrow. 
I'm just gonna focus on the pre-work for that. So I think it's my normal clinical work. And then once I'm probably gonna be done with that, I am gonna stay and work on anything until this place closes. So this evening I was focusing on my pre-work for my class in the morning, my clinical class. This is called Simulated Clinical Practice and we learn anything and everything that has to do with clinical pharmacy, working in the pharmacy, hospital pharmacy, drug charts, you name it. And it's usually a very long class and the pre-work is also usually very long, usually takes five hours to complete. So this was just me finishing it. I hate how long it takes because I wouldn't say that it really helps me to retain any information. I would much rather use the time to study, do some flashcards, do some exam questions, but the classes are beneficial when it comes to clinical pharmacy, obviously. And we also do learn how to prescribe in these classes because I'll be the first year to graduate as an independent prescriber integrated into my course. Mm -hmm. 